हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी ऑन हायर ऑर्डर ऑर्डिनरी डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशंस इन दिस लेक्चर आल्सो वी विल डिस्कस वन मोर एग्जांपल ऑन ऑयलर कोसी इक्वेशंस सो वी स्टार्ट विथ दिस डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन इन दिस इक्वेशन वी कैन सी इन ईच टर्म पावर ऑफ एक्स एंड ऑर्डर ऑफ डेरीवेटिव आर सेम सो देर फॉर दिस इज ऑयलर कोसी इक्वेशन एंड एज वी नो ऑयलर कोसी इक्वेशन कैन ऑलवेज बी कन्वर्टेड इन टू डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशेंट्स एंड फॉर दैट वी आर चेंजिंग द इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल फ्रॉम एक्स टू न्यू इंडिपेंडेंट वेरिएबल जेड बाय द सब्सटीट्यूशन एक्स इक्वल टू ई रेस टू जेड सो फर्स्ट वी कन्वर्ट दिस इक्वेशन इन टू डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन विथ कॉन्स्टेंट कोफिशेंट्स एंड वी स्टार्ट बाय टेकिंग एक्स इक्वल टू ई रेस टू जेड so if x is e raised to z z can be written as logarithm of x and x into y dash will be equal to d1 y where d1 denotes the derivative with respect to z similarly x square into y double dash will be replaced by d1 times d1 minus 1 y and x cube by triple dash will be replaced by d1 d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2 y in general Uh, as we know if we consider this substitution this x raised to n into nth derivative will be replaced by d1 d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2 and so on d1 minus n minus 1 y so if we consider n equal to 1 we have x into y dash equal to d1 y For n equal to two, we have x square y double dash equal to d1 into d1 minus 1y, and for n equal to three, we have x cube y triple dash equal to d1 d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2y. So now we substitute all these things in equation one. So we have x cube y triple dash, which is replaced by d1 d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2y. We have taken y common. Minus three into x square y double dash that we replace by d1 into d1 minus one and minus three is there plus six into x into y dash x into y dash is replaced by d1 y so we have six into d1 y six d1 y and minus six y equal to x raised to four so here we replace x by e raised to z. And log x will be replaced by z. So this is e raised to z raised to four into z. Now we multiply first these two. So we have d1 and d1 into d1 that is d1 square. d1 into minus two which is minus two d1, and this minus one into d1 so that is minus three d1. And this minus one into minus two that is plus two. First we multiply these two. So minus three as it is d one square minus d one plus six d one minus six as it is. This we can rewrite as e raised to four z times z. Now we multiply this bracket by d one. So we have d one into d one square which is d one cube minus three d one square plus two d one. Here we multiply this bracket by minus three, so we obtain minus three d one square plus three d one plus six d one minus six y equal to e raised to four z into z. Now we have only one term with d one cube. Uh, with d one square, we have minus three d one square and minus three d one square. That combines to minus six d one square. Then terms with d one are two d one. 3d1 and 6d1, so we have 2 plus 3, 5 plus 6, 11d1, and there is only one constant term minus 6. Y equal to e raised to 4z into z. So this equation 2 is nothing but linear differential equation with constant coefficients in new variable y and z. So our variable x is converted in terms of new independent variable z. So equation two is linear ordinary differential equation with constant coefficients in y and z, and we are uh, having the methods for solving equations with constant coefficients. So now we will solve this equation two in terms of y and z. 
now this equation 2 is non homogeneous equation so to solve equation 2 first we have to find out its complementary function so for that we write down the homogeneous differential equation corresponding to equation 2 so that we write by considering right hand side equal to 0 so the homogeneous differential equation corresponding to equation 2 is this one now to solve this equation first we write its auxiliary equation by replacing d1 by lambda so this is the auxiliary equation lambda cube minus 6 lambda square plus 11 lambda minus 6 equal to 0 now this is cubic equation and as we know if there is any integer solution to this equation then that integer solution must be divisors of constant term here constant term is minus 6 so divisors of minus 6 are plus or minus 1 plus or minus 2 and plus or minus 3 so we know that if there is any integer solution then it must be a divisor of constant term so we can try different divisors of constant term suppose we try for 1 if we put lambda equal to 1 we can see 1 minus 6 plus 11 minus 6 so we have 11 plus 1 12 minus 12 so lambda equal to 1 satisfies this equation so one factor of left hand side must be lambda minus 1 because lambda equal to 1 is root of this equation so we can write lambda minus 1 and in the bracket uh, we will have quadratic factor that we can obtain by using this method of synthetic division first we write coefficients of lambda cube lambda square lambda and constant term here so coefficient of lambda cube is 1 then minus 6 then 11 and then minus 6 here we write 0 we take addition of these two so we have 1 we multiply this one with this one so we have 1 into 1 that we write here then again we add these two minus 6 plus 1 which is minus 5 and we multiply minus 5 with this one so we have minus 5 here so now we add these two 11 minus 5 is 6 that 6 is multiplied with 1 whatever we obtain that we write here and if we add these two we obtain 0 so now this becomes coefficient of lambda square this becomes coefficient of lambda and this is constant term so second quadratic factor is lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 equal to 0 so this gives us lambda minus 1 equal to 0 and lambda square minus 5 lambda plus 6 equal to 0 and this is easy to factorize we can rewrite minus 5 lambda as minus 2 lambda minus 3 lambda then we take lambda common from first two terms so we have lambda into lambda minus 2 and from these two terms we take minus 3 common so we have lambda minus 2 now again we take lambda minus 2 common so we have lambda minus 2 into lambda minus 3 equal to 0 so therefore uh, we obtain lambda equal to 2 lambda equal to 3 and from this we have lambda equal to 1 so these are the roots of auxiliary equation and all the roots are real and different so we know that complementary function is given by yc equal to c1 e raised to 1 into z that is e raised to z plus c2 e raised to 2z plus c3 e raised to 3z here we uh, remember that our independent variable is z not x so we will never write e raised to x and e raised to 2x and e raised to 3x here we are solving equation number 2 which is differential equation in y and z and z is our independent variable so we will take care that we must write z here and we should not make a mistake of writing x here so this is the complementary function now particular integral can be obtained by using shortcut method here right hand side is product of exponential and uh, polynomial function so we can apply shortcut method so for particular integral uh, we consider y equal to this quantity on the right hand side which will be applied to e raised to 4z into z 
so in the next step we write that particular solution is yp equal to 1 over d1 cube minus 6 d1 square plus 11 d1 minus 6 which which is applied to right hand side e raised to 4 z into z now uh, here factors of auxiliary equation are lambda equal to 1 2 3 and we have replaced uh, lambda we have replaced d1 by lambda so we can write this function of d1 as this we can write as d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2 d1 minus 3 times y so we replace uh, that function of d d1 by product of these three linear factors d1 minus 1 d1 minus 2 d1 minus 3 which we apply to e raised to 4z into z now if we recall if we have exponential function in the product if we have e raised to alpha x into g x then we have the formula we take e raised to alpha x outside and here we replace d by d plus alpha where alpha is the coefficient of x in e raised to alpha x and we operate this to g x so here also we have instead of x we have z coefficient is 4 instead of d we have d1 so we will replace d1 by d1 plus 4 and we take e raised to 4 z outside so e raised to 4 z outside and in each factor d1 is replaced by d1 plus 4 so first factor becomes d1 plus 4 minus 1 second factor becomes d1 plus 4 minus 2 third factor becomes d1 plus 4 minus 3 now we rewrite this 4 minus 1 that is 3 d1 plus 3 here d1 plus 4 minus 2 that is d1 plus 2 and d1 plus 1 now here we have polynomial function so whenever we have polynomial function we consider binomial theorem or binomial series so here we will operate these linear factors one by one to the right hand side so suppose we want to apply this 1 over 1 plus d1 to z uh, we recall this formula for binomial series of 1 over 1 plus x if we have 1 over 1 plus x then this is equal to 1 minus x plus x square and negative sign alternately positive and negative now here we have power of z as 1 so we have to go up to single power of d1 so we will consider instead of x we will write d1 so we have 1 over 1 plus d1 equal to 1 minus d1 plus d1 square minus and so on but d1 square of z will be equal to 0 because d1 z is 1 so second derivative is going to be 0 so all the derivatives from second are going to be 0 so we will write terms of binomial series up to d1 only so now uh, we have written this thing 1 over 1 plus d1 equal to 1 minus d1 and we are ignoring powers from second to higher degree so we are writing only first two terms 1 minus d1 only and we are ignoring higher powers of d1 now we operate this two terms on z so 1 into z is z minus d1 z means derivative of z that is 1 so 1 into z is z minus d1 z that is d by dz of z which is 1 so we have z minus 1 now we try to operate this on z minus 1 so for that our function must be in this form 1 over 1 plus something so for that uh, we can take or we can rewrite d1 plus 2 by considering 2 common d1 plus 2 can be written as 2 into 1 plus d1 by 2 so that we have written here d1 plus 2 is replaced by 2 times 1 plus d1 by 2 and we consider again this series 1 over 1 plus x is 1 minus x plus x square and so on 
and instead of x we have d1 by 2 so we will replace x by d1 by 2 and here also polynomial is of first degree so we will write terms up to first power of d1 we take these two outside so we have e raised to 4 z by 2 this quantity as it is 1 over 1 plus d1 by 2 is replaced by 1 minus d1 by 2 plus and so on z minus 1 we are ignoring all these terms d1 square d1 cube and so on now again we consider uh, we operate this on z minus 1 so we have 1 into z minus 1 that is z minus 1 minus 1 by 2 into derivative of z minus 1 with respect to z that is going to be 1 so we have 1 into z minus 1 which is z minus 1 minus 1 by 2 into 1 that is minus 1 by 2 now to operate this again we convert this into 1 over 1 plus something so for that we take 3 common and we rewrite d1 plus 3 as 3 into 1 plus d1 by 3 and this is going to be minus 1 minus 1 by 2 that is z minus 3 by 2 now we in the next term we consider this 2 as 2 into 3 equal to 6 and here again we apply binomial series instead of x we have d1 by 3 so we write up to first power of d1 because here we have first degree polynomial in z so we have 1 minus d1 by 3 plus and so on z minus 3 by 2 and we operate this on z minus 3 by 2 so 1 into z minus 3 by 2 that is z minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 into derivative of z minus 3 by 2 which is nothing but 1 and we rewrite this as z minus 3 by 2 minus 1 by 3 and if we combine these two we have lcm as 6 and we have 3 into 3 that is 9 plus 2 11 by 6 so this is the particular solution and then we write the general solution by considering addition of complementary function and particular integral now this solution is in terms of y and z so we convert it in terms of y and x so for that uh, we will replace e raised to z by x so e raised to z is x e raised to 2z is going to be x square e raised to 3z is x cube e raised to 4z is x raised to 4 by 6 z we will replace by log x minus 11 by 6 and this c1 c2 c3 are arbitrary constants so in this way we can easily solve euler cauchy equations by transforming them into constant coefficient equations by the substitution x equal to e raised to z so you can see first we have considered this transformation x equal to e raised to z then we converted equation 1 into equation 2 which was differential equation with constant coefficients in y and z then we find out complementary function by solving the auxiliary equation and then we find out particular solution using this shortcut formula and after writing the solution in terms of y and z we replace e raised to z by x or z by log x so i hope you like this lecture thank you very much